This video is sponsored by Casio Malaysia. Hi everyone, I'm Miss Shirley and welcome back to my channel. Do you know the difference between original and fake Casio calculator? A genuine Casio calculator is obviously of high quality. The hard case slides on easily and the edge around the calculator is curved and smooth. Most importantly, the buttons are more sensitive when you press it and all the functions are working properly as expected. You don't want to risk getting the wrong answers for your exam, right? In this video, I'll be teaching you on how to solve questions using Casio calculator for additional mathematics. As for the materials, I've inserted the link in the description below. You may download it and print it out for your own self-practice if you want to. For those who still haven't gotten this calculator yet, don't fret. You may still learn from this video. At the end of this video, if you wish to buy this calculator, I will show you how to buy it from Shopee Casio Official Store. Alright, let's get started. In this video, I will show you how to find the first derivative of a function y equals to ax power n and to find the gradient of the tangent to the curve. I will also show you how to use the Casio class risk calculator to get your answer fast and accurate. Let's look at these quick notes. In order to find the first derivative, we have to memorize the formula. So, if the question gives you in the form of y equals to ax power n, so to find the first derivative, we put dy dx, so equals to, so the n, the power, we bring down, Okay, so times with the a and then the x, then the power minus 1, so n minus 1. So it's n a x to the power of n minus 1. So this is the first derivative. But if the question gives you in the form of a function fx, so fx equals to ax power n is the question. So if you want to find the first derivative, we put f prime x equals to n a x power n minus 1. So it's the same as the previous one. So if they give you the question differentiate ax power n, so in order to find the first derivative, we put d dx of the question, so equals to, so the same. We bring down the n, and then a, and then x, and then to the power of n minus 1. Let me show you an example. For example, if the question is y equals to 3x power 6, okay? So you want to find the first derivative, you write dy dx. Okay, you bring down the 6. Okay, this is the a and this is the n. Okay, so you bring down the n, which is the 6. And then times with the 3, and then x, and then the power minus 1. Okay, so you get 18x power 5. Okay, so this is the first derivative. Okay, let me show you another example. Okay, for example, y equals to say 10 x power 8 okay so find the first derivative when given x is equals to 2 okay so we use the manual way first okay later I'll, I'll teach you how to use the Casio class risk calculator to double check your answer okay so dy dx is equals to so we bring down the 8 times with the 10 and then x and then the power minus 1 so we get 80 x power 7 okay then when x is equal to 2 we substitute 2 inside here and then we get the answer okay so 2 power 7 equals and then we times with 80 and then we get 10,240 so 10,240 okay so this is the answer okay now I'm going to teach you how to use the Casio classes calculator to double check your answer okay so you press shift then you press this button, okay, you see ddx, and then you're going to key in the 10x power 8 inside the first square. So 10, and then x to the power of 8. Okay, and then you see, press right two times. One, two, okay, you see, it goes to the small little tiny box at the bottom right. So you're going to key in 2, because when x is 2, right? So x is 2, okay? So equals, so you get 10,240, ta-da! Okay, so this is to make sure that your answer is 100% correct. Let's solve this question from SPM 2013. So the point P, 1, negative 5, 
So this is the x value, x is 1, okay? Lines on the curve y equals to 3x squared minus 8x. So find the gradient, okay, of the tangent. So gradient means find dy dx, okay, when x is equal to 1. So tangent, it means that there's a line which touches the curve at only one point. For example, if the curve looks like this, okay, so there's another line which is a straight line that touches the curve at only one point here, okay? So this is called a tangent. Okay, at point P. Okay, then the next one is find the equation of the normal to the curve. Means once you found your tangent, your gradient of the tangent, okay, you put into m1, m2, m1 dot m2 equals to negative 1. Okay, so this is our plan. Okay, so now we're going to execute our plan. Okay, so first for A, we need to find the gradient. So I'm going to write back the question y equals to 3x squared minus 8x. And then we find the dy dx, which is the gradient. Okay, so we're going to differentiate term by term. So we differentiate the first term first. Bring down the 2. Okay, and then after that you write 3 and then x, 2 minus 1. Okay, then minus 8. Okay, bring down this 1. Uh, 1 times 8 is 8. Uh. So x and then a the power minus 1. Okay, so here we get 6x because 2 minus 1 is 1. Minus 8. Okay, x power 1 minus 1 is 0, so x power 0 is 1, so it's just 8, okay? And then next, we are going to substitute when x equals to 1, so 6, 1 minus 8. So 6 minus 8 is negative 2. So this is the gradient, okay? Okay, so now I'm going to teach you how to use the Casio Class with Calculator to double check your answer. Okay, you press Shift, and then you press this button. Okay, then you're going to key in 3x squared minus 8x, okay? So 3 x and then square and then after that you minus 8 x okay then you press right okay so your x when x is equals to 1 so you press 1 then you will get negative 2 so confirm that your gradient of the tangent is correct okay so now let's solve for b so to find the equation of the normal, I'm going to find what is my m2. Let's say my m1. Okay, I'm going to write down this formula first. So my m1, this is my m1. Okay, so negative 2 times m2 equals to negative 1. So my m2 will be negative 1 divided by negative 2 is half. Okay, so in order to find the equation, we have to use the formula y minus y1 equals to m. This one is going to be m2 because it's normal. And then x minus x1. Okay? So it will be y minus. So the coordinate is 1, negative 5. So this is negative 5 equals. Then this will be half. And then x minus 1. Okay? And then this 2, this half I'm going to bring over. Okay, this 2 uh, I'm going to bring over. It becomes times 2. So when it's times 2, it will be 2 times y plus 5 equals to x minus 1 okay then after that we open up the bracket so become 2y plus 10 equals to x minus 1 so 2y equals to so x minus so here will be minus 1 then you bring over the 10 become minus 10 so minus 11 and this is the equation of the normal let's try to do this question from Joho trial SPM 2021 paper so given that the gradient function of a curve is 8 minus x cubed, means this is the dy dx because this is the gradient and has a turning point at p3, means this is the x that we're going to find, okay? Find the value of p, okay? And then after that, determine whether the turning point is a maximum or a minimum point. So turning point means this dy dx is equal to 0, okay? And to prove that whether it's max or min, we have to find the second derivative which is d square y dx square, okay? Later, we're going to find this, okay? So let's do a1 first to find the value of p. So a1, okay, at the turning point, dy dx is equal to 0. And they already given to you the dy dx, which is 8 minus x cubed. So I'm going to put it over here, 8 minus x cubed equals to 0. Okay, so x cubed is equal to 8. And then x is equal to, so cube root of 8 is 2. Okay, so therefore my p is equal to 2. Okay, so next one to find. Okay, determine whether the turning point is a maximum or minimum. Okay, so we're going to find the second derivative. Okay, so given dy dx 
is equal to 8 minus x cubed. Okay, so now we're going to find the second derivative. Okay, second derivative. So we're going to differentiate again. So here, 8 minus x cubed. So 8, when you differentiate 8, you get 0. Okay, so we differentiate the second term, which is negative x cubed. So bring down the 3 times with the negative 1. And then x, the power minus 1. So we get negative 3x squared. Okay, so after that, we need to substitute the value of x. So the x that we gotten just now was 2, right? So I'm going to substitute inside 3 times negative 3 times 2 squared. So we get negative 3 times 4 is negative 12. And this is negative. Okay, so when it's negative, it means that it's a maximum value, maximum point. Okay, so therefore... The coordinate, because it's P3, right? So just now we've got P is 2, 3 is a maximum point. Okay? And then we want to double check our answer using the Casio class Swiss calculator. How? Okay, so I'm going to teach you how. So from here, we're going to differentiate from here to here, right? Okay? So use the Casio calculator to double check. Okay? To double check. So press shift and then you press this and then you press 8 minus x cubed because you're going to differentiate this one so 8 then minus and then x cubed okay and then when your x is equals to 2 so equals negative 12 so it's confirmed that your second derivative is correct and if it's negative it's maximum point let's look at question b Given that the equation of the curve y equals to 3x squared plus 4x minus 2 is passing through point negative 1, 3. Because later we're going to use this x equals to negative 1 in our working. So find the equation of the tangent to the curve at point negative 1, 3. Okay, so we first we find the dy dx. Okay, write back the question y equals to 3x squared plus 4x minus 2 and then find the dy dx. So we're going to differentiate term by term. So 2 times 3 is 6. Then x, so 2 minus 1 is 1. Okay, then plus, differentiate 4x, we get 4. Then differentiate negative 2, we get 0. Okay, next, we're going to substitute the x equals to negative 1. Okay, inside here. Okay, so it'll be negative 6 plus 4, so we get negative 2. Okay, now we double check using our Casio Swiss calculator. So you press shift, then you press this. Okay, so you're going to key in 3x squared plus 4x minus 2. Okay. So 3x and square and then plus 4x and then minus 2. Okay, when x is equals to negative 1, negative 1, then equals. So you get negative 2. So confirm that our gradient is correct. Okay, then next one we're going to continue. We're going to find the equation of tangent. So we're going to put into the formula y minus y1 equals to mx minus x1. Okay. So we're going to use this coordinate negative 1, 3. So y minus 3 equals 2. So the gradient is, is the m, okay, negative 2. Then x minus, minus negative 1 is plus 1. Okay, so y minus 3 equals to negative 2x minus 2. And then y equals to negative 2x minus 2 plus 3. So y equals to negative 2x plus 1. And this is the equation of the tangent. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching until the end and I hope that you will benefit from this video especially on how to use the Casio calculator to get your answers fast and accurate. If you have decided to buy this calculator, I will walk you through on how to buy it from Shopee. First, you click on the Shopee link in the description below using your computer or mobile app. If you're using a computer, you will see this page. The price shown is based on the latest price and it depends on when you click on the link. Sometimes the price can be lower and sometimes can be higher. You also get an exclusive free gift from Casio which may also change from time to time. You also get free shipping whereby the item will be sent directly to your house. Just make sure that you buy from Casio.os which is Casio official store to avoid any counterfeits. Oh yeah! Don't forget to use the discount vouchers from Shopee yeah! Till we meet again in the next video. Bye!